Hello my Capricorns and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I'm Debbie and I want to also wish you a very happy birthday. Wow, you've been waiting. You have been struggling since 2008, even before that when Pluto was going into your into your sign, but it's getting ready to transition out. But before it goes, it's going to give you a birthday gift. You are going to feel more empowered as we go into this month, into this new year, than maybe you have ever felt in your life. Now, I have done an overview. Can't remember what I called it at all, but take a peek at it, and it does explain a little bit, if I didn't rant and rave too much about it. But um, go ahead, take a peek. But remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? But again, I feel like this is your time. Remember, the 11th of December is that new moon. I mean, so right now we've got that full moon. I'm doing this on the full moon. Um, it will be waxing, meaning this is the time for you to get rid of all your garbage. Well, you know, as we go forward into it, it's time to get rid of all your garbage and just release, 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 and then get ready for that new moon where you just start saying, come on now, universe, I want the good stuff. Okay, so let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what do you want to say to our birthday Capricorns and also to Happy New Year? Let's see. What else do you want to say? What do you want to say to our Capricorns? What's for our Cappies? What are we doing? What's our Cappies? Remember, reverse cards to me have a little stronger message. That's how I read them. That's how I have always read these cards. Okay, let's see. All of these are reversed. First card for my Capricorn is New Beginnings, New Start. Now, I know I talked about the 11th, but I feel like this is the time for you to just grab, grab the gold, my Capricorns. Believe. Now, is it going to be easy? Is it all just going to be handed to you? No, but you have become so much stronger. What you have gone through these last, what, 15 plus years has made you so strong that you're going to start seeing the opportunities and you're going to grab what you need to grab. So we have a 20. 20, a 2, crossroads, choices, decisions, 0, God, source, energy. 10 plus 10 is a 20, and that is all about new beginnings and transitions. Archangel Jeremiah, this is also known as a judgment card. This is where things are weighed and measured. This is where you look back and you actually come to some peace um, in order for you to move forward. Now, remember, I always talk about forgiveness. I'm never saying that you should forget. Now, you know what? You have to learn those lessons. And you really don't want to forget because you don't want to have to do those lessons over. But forgive yourself. Forgive those others that are involved. Doesn't mean when, you know, when you forgive somebody, it doesn't mean that you that they have to come in and, you know, go and break bread with you anymore. No, 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 no. It's you be you. You go on. You know, bless you. Um, but, you know, no, 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 no. You stay away. Okay? But it is a new choice. It is new direction. It is starting a new life. Finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So we, you, this is your turning point. This is where, you know, it's almost like that revolving door, but um, it's, it's bigger than that. It's stronger than that. Next card is reversed again. A new beginning. Now, aces are actually kind of like these, you know, they're ones. So ones are all about new start. This is your first step. Take the step, okay? Take the step, my Capricorns. Now, Gabriel... Um, is our fire energy. It is our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Remember, there are things in Sagittarius right now. What did I say? Mercury and Mars right now. But then, these will be transitioning more as we get more into January into your sign. You will be that much stronger. So, you know, the, the fiery energy does push you forward, but you're going to take control of that fiery energy and you're going to make things happen. Now, it's also Aries. Aries is our in that north node, pushing things forward, pushing, pushing, pushing. It's also Leo. Now, we are, you know, right now it's the Cancer full moon, but as we get more into that January, January, we will be going towards that Leo full moon. So this is a major, this is your big transition. This is your big breaking out party, okay? So here we go. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. It's time to break out my Capricorns. Here we go. Choices. 
Choices and decisions, choices and pathways, choices and where am I going? However, so we have a 2017, so 177102. Seven is a divine number, it's a divine umbrella, it covers you. Raphael is water energy, again, that Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer and Scorpio are the stronger energies right now, and Cancer brings about that loving energy, that caring energy. Remember, Cancer full moon is in your sign, so it's also your mirror in many ways too. Scorpio energies, which has been a little bit irritating to you, my Capricorns, is, has dissipated quite a bit, especially, what did I say, Venus was going into uh, Sagittarius, you know, uh, it, it's dissipating, it's leaving, things are, you know, there's kind of got, come a, re, um, a resolution with a lot of that type of energy, okay, so this is about choices, decisions, again, there's a lot, you know, the cards always have some choices and decisions, but this one is take time to carefully review. Look at what you have to do. Look at your choices. Don't just accept the first offer. You know, you look at what it is. Now, if this is a job, again, you know, I'm not saying that you don't take the job because, you know, if you, if you need work, you need work. But this also gives you an opportunity to maybe talk about the, talk about the parameters of the position. Talk about the parameters of the salary even, okay? But there is this sense of, to me, and it's an emotional energy, it's a flowing energy, it's a spiritual energy, but this also puts it in your court. Again, I get a lot of things for this first, for this last week, uh, last couple of days and first couple of days of 2023, 2024, things, the ball is in your court now. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxification. And again, detoxification is just getting rid of all of that old, that old dirty water, that dirty stuff, okay? Um, you know, and, and this is going to be good because we're, we're in the 29th through the 4th. We are in a waning moon, which is as the moon gets smaller, you release and you relinquish, okay? It's time to break free again. Um... It's, it's a really powerful time for you, Mike Capricorns. Believe in yourself. Believe in God. Believe in Source. Believe. Believe that there is that you are coming of age in many ways. Okay? So let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what else do you want to say? Oops. This card was down there. So we're going to take that, but we're also going to take... We're also going to cut and see what else we have for our Capricorns here. Again, so all your cards have been reversed so far. Let's see. A win-win situation. So this is the temperance card. This is a 14, one new beginnings, um, 10 transition, four stability organization. Uh, one plus four is a five, change. Change, but in a good way. Change in the positive, in a positive energy way. A win-win solution. There's strength and diversity. By blending the ideas of other people's with, with your own, you can up, often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Now, it does not mean that you are giving up your own ideas, but it does mean that you're taking, you're listening to the advice of others, and you're going to take what you like and leave the rest. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon, and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. So that card was just kind of laying there. That's why I felt like we needed to do it. This is the card that we pulled. Successful completion. So 2, 1. We know what a 2 is. We know what a 1 is. 2 plus 1 is a 3. Celebration, creation, the power of 3. This is the world card. So you have 1, 2, 3 major arcanas. Successful completion. This is a time of incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion, and pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey, but for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. Very powerful week for you, my, my Capricorns. Believe in it. Hold on to it. Just, just hold on to it, okay? So let's see what else we might have here. Let's go on into our inspirational wisdom. From angels and fairies. What do we have for our Capricorns? Yeah, I, I feel this is a very powerful time for you, Cappies. Um, use that power. Now, how do you do it? Speak it out. Um, get your crystals. 
get out there and, you know, dance. Dance out in the moonlight if you want to do that. Um, just claim. Claim that this is going to be a wonderful year, a wonderful decade as things transition. And like I said, um, you know, Pluto is leaving a gift. Now, I do feel for you, my cappies. Here we go. Let's see. Again, this one is reversed. Okay, Garden, Garden of the Sun and Moon. Now this is a waning moon. So, uh, the change you seek may be outside your comfort zone. Ask for the strength to help you move forward. So there's a lot of change, a lot of going for the gold, all that good stuff, but you might need a little help doing that. Okay, so ask for it. It's okay. It is okay. Again, too, what did I say about this temperance? You've got people around you that are very willing to offer their advice. So here we go. Let's see what crystal or energy would be helpful as we go here. And then remember, I am going to use the angel answers, so get your question ready. Angel answers are more for fun than any of the others. So hold on. Let's see what we've got here. Here we go. Again, reversed. you got a lot of reverse cards here. Amazonite. Do I have any Amazonite? I think this is my Amazonite. Is this my Amazonite? I think this is Amazonite. Kind of looks like it. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not great with the... I just kind of go, ooh, pretty. I like... Okay, solace. Healthy lifestyle. Clear communication. Also helps to bring around balance. Okay. Now, remember, angel answer, say, okay, my angel answer cards. What do you want to say to our Capricorns? What do our Capricorns, what, what is the answer for our Capricorns? Our happy birthday, happy new year Capricorns. Okay, we got a couple, okay, just the one card came out. Yeah, just one. Okay, again, reversed. Take action. Wow. Take action. All right, my Capricorns, um, you let me know. Does this resonate? Does it not? It's all good, right? Again, happy birthday to you. Happy New Year to you. Thank you all so much for following me. I really, I appreciate you all so much. And I'm, I'm, I love doing this and I love reaching out with you. Okay, my Capricorns, remember doing the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. Also, too, if you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. As always, my Cappies, my Capricorns, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.